everyone welcome back and hey to all my new subscribers as well so today we are going to be doing what are their thoughts about you um as you know for those of you that have booked public re uh, public private readings um, I tend to separate thoughts and feelings um, because they are two very very separate things one sometimes our head is directing us one way and our heart is directing us another so this week we're going to do the head and probably next week we're going to do the heart so we're doing thoughts this week feelings next week um, we are going to be using a female deck and a masculine deck yes my decks do have different energies um, welcome to my crazy world I also got mascara on my hand okay so so, 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 let us go. So this is going to be deck number one, which is the female energy. Deck number two, this is the masculine energy. Um, so have a think about your person, okay? Think about you um, and think about what they're thinking about, all right? A lot of the time, deck number one, deck number two, sorry, pick a deck. Hashtag pick a deck. Um, a lot of the time what happens is we try and perceive and, and put into play what we think someone is actually thinking about us and it, it puts us into this right little model up in our head um, so this is really good for kind of seeing what's actually going on with the situation what direction it's going in where it's heading yada 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 um, but be aware that it isn't the same as what they're feeling okay um, Normally me and my guides start off with thoughts and feelings on a private reading because it gives us a really good indicator where the energy is going and what's happening. However, on a collective, we've got to break them up into two separate things because it, it, it won't work so easily. Okay, so we're going to go into deck number one. So as always, this works on the strongest mutual energy. Deck time is in the description um, for number two. Uh, works on strongest mutual energy. Tarot cards are just my tool. I'm a psychic medium. Um, I don't tend to do mediumship on private readings. The reason for that is because without the feedback of you saying yes, no, yes, no, um, it's very different from when I do the stage work because stage work I have that feedback from you. Um, but when I do video work, I don't have that constant feedback from you. Um, if someone pops through in a private reading, I will of course tell you about them. Um, it's just a bit more complicated without the feedback from you. Um, but the tarot cards are just my tool and we channel with different we channel with guides um speak uh speak think about your person guys we get into their energy so i speak with different guides and um, my left ear i'm clairaudience so i hear i'm clairvoyance so i see my left ear um is my main guide my right ear is higher dimensional guides when i do mediumship normally on the left side of uh, my ear left side it's masculine energy right side it's female energy so if it's a link with dad or a link with mum left right that's how it works just because some of you were asking how it works so it's like not all psychics are mediums but all mediums are psychic okay what <laughs> right, i've gone off on one okay can you tell me what their people are currently thinking about them one two three what are they thinking about them? Four. You're not one. Yeah. Five. Um, I've got a couple of songs coming through in this um, in this deck. There's multiple deck, uh, multiple decks, multiple songs um, through different ears. It kind of another thing that it does. It works kind of through white noise. So I hear. Have you ever used some of you will the more the more kind of ones that are into psychic investigation will have used spirit boxes and they have like that white noise of the radio and it's like and then you hear things come through it's like that so that's what kind of happens through my ears so sometimes um you can get multiple ones at multiple times so we've got walking in memphis we've also got taylor swift love story and we have also got um crap what's that meatloaf song that romantic meatloaf song that everybody knows that uh, I can't quite get the words of. Anyway, that meatloaf song that everybody loves. And here comes a postie. What are they thinking about you? Okay. So we're only going to do eight cards uh, for this reading. It's going to be pretty uh, sharp, speedy one. So hold on to your knickers, okay? Um, right. So what your person is currently thinking about you. 
that your situations regardless of what is actually going on there's been quite a lot of towers that have been hitting around um you guys have had towers they have had tire tires towers some of them have been little minor towers that have built up and built up and built up and some of you had have had full big on eruptions i'm hearing that the um this was a good quote that spirit gave me the other day and um, that after the hurricane comes the the rainbow or something similar to that remember that there's always going to be a silver lining to the dark stuff that happens um the the more dark stuff is generally there to teach us either self-love or work or what we want to put up with and what we don't there's always a bigger purpose for things happening so i know but i know when you're going through it it's really hard to kind of understand that because it's it's all you think is about is like oh my god this is so intense i don't know what i'm doing what am i gonna where am i going what's happening oh god help let's go on youtube um so these tower cards have kind of been hitting all around but these towers have actually got a longer term purpose your person has had a bit of a freak out with this tower hitting um and they're viewing it now as a period of rest so if you're not in contact or um you're worrying that they've been a bit hot and cold of you regardless of what your individual circumstances your person has kind of generally withdrawn from the situation at the moment and that is because these towers have hit they've gone into this processing mode and um, they've gone into a reflection mode and they're going into what they're, they're thinking um, about the whole deal and what they want. Some of them are on self-protect so if you are talking to them and they're getting a little bit itchy feet or saying things are a little bit flippant or a little bit not so pleasant and um, don't worry so much it's because they're trying to protect their ego, protect their pride um, and protect the fact that they actually have got a lot of feelings for you. Um, those of you that they have withdrawn from the situation that is because they're processing it, they're thinking it through, they're kind of working out what they want. Um, the more female energies, we kind of talk about our problems with, with like-minded friends. We say, well, this has happened and he was like, oh, sorry lads, they were like this. Um, remember, it's never gender specific or sexually orientated, but with the energies of the female um, is what I'm saying. So um, you kind of, we, we tend to talk about our feelings because it helps us. Uh, the masculine energies kind of uh, withdraw from situations, go into said man cave and reflect on it and they come out with solutions. So if your person is kind of withdrawn from the situation at the moment, it's because they're looking for solutions about it. And this is why some of the times when you want to talk to your person about what's going on, how you're feeling and things like that, they won't want to talk to you about it. They will be retreating from the situation to go in said cave or hermit mode or equivalent of that to think it all through and come up with the solutions and that can be often quite a uh, misconception of your miscommunication as well because you'll be thinking well they don't want to talk to me about it and they'll be thinking well she, she don't want to hear what I'm saying about how it can work so just keep that at your back of your mind uh, going for a period of rest this is tend to have come from quite a bit of conflict this conflicting energy is still going to be going on a little bit because they're battling their head and the heart a lot of them uh, sometimes they some sorry some of your people um are working a lot on logic um especially if you're kind of like a third party situation and they're married or they've got kids or whatever equivalent um or even if you just it's been very up and down it's been a rocky road there's lots of water under the bridge they're working in their thought process at the moment working it out and their heart is pulling them towards you and their head is going oh i don't know what the right thing is to do and um, their head is kind of hopeful for a future their thoughts are hopeful that there could be a future but in the moment they're kind of viewing it as it either it's not yet or i just want to take my time with it or um, i'm not quite ready for commitment i just want to see where this is going let's go with the flow um, the people watching you guys kind of tend to think further down the line wanting a future your people tend to think in the here and now and the Dalai Lama once said you know if you're living in the past you have depression if you're living in the future you have anxiety that's why it's best to kind of stay in the present so keep that at the back of your mind as well um, You've got the Knight of Wands, which is the kind of non-committal, I'm a bit of a Jack the Lad or Jack the Female Lad or whatever equivalent that is. Um, again, this kind of goes with everything I'm saying. If they have withdrawn from the situation or they're saying to you, I'm not going to commit, make sure that you don't commit to them also. Uh, regardless of your situations, don't throw all your eggs in one basket. Get your basket fully open. Let this naturally unfill. Um, the more time and space you give them, the more time and space they will have to reflect on the situation and then make these moves towards you. If you're texting them all the time and calling them all the time, you're not giving them reflection time. So please bear that in mind as well. 
So from there, we kind of have this split of energy. So we go from feeling like everything's kind of gone a little bit wrong to a period of rest, to a period of my heart is following my head. I'm just gonna go with the flow of it and not really commit about anything, which will then bring us to this new beginning, which is your Ace of Swords. Um, Ace of Swords, uh, it tends to be a beginning based on a situation. That's the way I see it. There is still gonna be an element of self-protect going on, but it is gonna be very much going with the flow of the situation. So they're thinking, well, if I take this time out, get to know what I actually want um, not commit until I do know what I want then there's this chance of this new beginning with us when I've worked it out and then you move forward to really positive cards of the ten of cups ace of cups and the sun so then they'll be looking towards having um, a really positive new future with you and happy outcomes and happy beginnings um, they do know that they want this they just don't know how to get there so they're kind of again in this retreating mode they're trying to think through how can I get from A to C without going through B. So this is point A, okay? The the ace of swords, the non-committal, and the heart rate, like the weighing up heart and head would be point B, and this is point C. So your person is trying to get from A to C um, and working out how to do that, which is why they're retreating from the situation to go through B. Okay, so it is a lot of thinking about things. It is a lot of processing for them at the moment. There is a, an element of them knowing what they want. They just got to work out how to get it. And that is what they're thinking. Um, they know that they have a lot of feelings for you, um, but they're just trying to work out. Th the feelings are very, very strong. The head is kind of just making on press pause a tiny little bit but it will move forward some of you this is going to be around may time um may was quite a strong collective energy then but going forward into the summer months as well of june and july this movement into these aces um if it, it might get a little bit worse before it gets better for some of you spirit is saying as well um so just be prepared in the next couple of weeks uh the, the universal energies are going a little bit crazy with moon and mars being kind of everywhere um so just bear that in mind as well if you're feeling like you're a bit emotional feeling like you're up and down feeling like you're dead dead hungry and really really tired just go with the flow of it try not to overthink the situation i put a post on instagram earlier about uh be careful what you're thinking don't manifest what you don't want to what you don't want uh, remember it 17 seconds for a thought to manifest so if you're if you're going into that negative mind frame and that negative vibration and these lower frequencies then please just get up do something different or go to sleep break that negative momentum okay if you want manifesting plans to speed this up drop me an email if you want to book a private reading also drop me an email it's mr at gmail.com and find me on instagram i'm a bit rubbish at replying to my instagram messages uh it's just because um it's my kind of like a work instagram rather than private one so i'll check my emails actually more than i check my instagram um but there's testimonials and all sorts on there so go and have a look look all right that's deck number one good stuff good stuff for deck number one um they were also sorry spirit also saying oh, i thought it was done then just take your time with it don't rush it and they will take their time and don't rush it make sure that you're um when you're picking up on them that you're sending that energy back so if you're suddenly walking down the street and you're like oh my god i've got such bad anxiety in my stomach what's actually going on make sure that you return it to sender say that three times uh send that energy back um and any of these negative thoughts just Fight, try and be more aware of your thoughts and what's going on and that in turn will then echo onto them because your energy is mirroring but the good cards it's just a bit of processing mode so that's fine i'm a massive processor when the situation happens to me i definitely step into a more masculine energy um and i can't communicate with anyone i'm just like no i need to think all of this through you know um so just being an allowance of that it's not necessarily a bad thing it just means that it's not quite the way that most of you will do all of it Okay, let's do deck 2, 13, 24. Can we get into deck 2's energy? So, as I said for deck 1, uh, this works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, as you do know. Uh, deck time's in the description, but you already know that because you're watching deck 2 already. Um, what else do we need to tell you? I'll, I'll talk about a little bit about how I work in deck number 1 at the start of it. So, if, you need, if you're interested, go and listen to that. Okay, get, think about your piercing. Can we get into your thoughts, feelings, energy? emotions and thought processes of people watching deck number two uh so where it's on the strongest mutual energy going to all of your energies going to all your people's energies and it the, it picks out the strongest mutual energy between you all i kind of explained that but i just tried to explain it a bit better the guys just said you're very repetitive <laughs> 
said to someone yesterday, I, I'm sorry to the person who's reading it was, it was brilliant. He goes, um, I said, you're very, you're very beautiful, very good looking. And he goes, no, aesthetically pleasing. I was like, oh my God. I was laughing my head off. Right, anyway. Uh, okay. <laughs> Just love the way that they wear things sometimes. It's brilliant. Okay, what are they thinking about their person in deck number one? What are they thinking about them? Two, one, two. What is their person thinking about in three? Hey, this is good, this is good, good, good. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Good Eight. Nine. Nine and throwing everything on the floor. Okay. So, you also have the Ace of Swords deck. No, we're going to have that one as well, actually, on the side. So, whilst I am muttering to myself, um, what's kind of happening with you and your person at the moment, what they are thinking about? Your person is actually um, not too badly um, in a place. There are, there are fears kind of going on. Now, these fears, there are uh, fears with regard to um, what's actually going to happen, kind of portraying... Uh, foretelling, sorry, the future. They're trying to work out uh, what they want, where's it gonna go, um, and there's a lot of fears with from that about, oh, am I good enough? Is this ever gonna work? Um, surely they deserve better. Then there's the fears of, oh, I don't know what I want. Well, if I get myself into a situation and decide this is not what I want, I end up hurting them and I hurt myself. So there's kind of like a lot of fears going on within deck number two, but that's okay. That's cool. Um, you know, we all have fears. So just let them get on with it. Let them have their fears all they want. They're also in respect feeling heavily burdened by the situation. Please try not to put pressure on them about um, wanting a relationship and wanting this and wanting that because at the moment with these fears that are kind of rising up within them if you do that you might actually go too far and push them the other way um, they pay attention to actions not words so make sure your actions are marrying up to your words so if you're saying to them oh I just want to be friends with you don't text them 30 times a day you know just be aware of your actions and your words it's really important that um, because your people are definitely more action based than um, words based some of them will tell you what you want to hear and then in that case you need to make sure that you are paying attention to their actions. So the energy is kind of mutual on that, just be aware of this all. There is a lot of burdens going on, uh, Spirit is saying work is coming to the forefront of that. Uh, there's also someone who's... <laughs> oh god, I've just had the clairvoyant image of uh, yoghurt, a pink strawberry yoghurt. Uh, one of your people has just smashed or is about to smash pink yoghurt all over the floor. It looks like they've got a kid and they're trying to feed the kid this pink yogurt and it's gone everywhere. Right, when you find out about that. Sorry, just throwing it out there. It's just come out really clear. I have to tell you exactly what they give me, even if it sounds like it's a load of nonsense to you. Um, it means something to someone, so it's important I tell you. Okay, so they're feeling a little bit burdened, um, a little bit in fear. What's happening with the situation? Again, this is a bit like deck number one. They are, they seem to be retreating a little bit from it. Some of them are going away uh, physically on holiday. Some of them are just retreating from the situation. Um, Again, it's kind of, I said this in Diet 1, they're quite similar similar cards really, to work out what they want. Your person knows that they have to make a choice and a decision on the situation and they don't want to rush to do it because if they rush to do it, they could make the wrong choice. So if you're feeling like it's going really, really slowly and not much is happening and you're being a standstiller, not a runner or a chaser, that is why your person is just weighing it up. And while they don't really know what they want, they're just going to keep the energy at a still and a standstill. Um, this kind of echoes a lot of the third party readings as well. If your person's like, well, I don't really know what I want, don't know if I can leave the kids, blah, de, blah, de, blah, just be aware of that. Um, for those of you that aren't third party, it's the same kind of energy. They're just trying to work it out you know do what's right for them they're trying to think what's going to make them the happiest and um, some of them if they are not committed to you and they're going out and dating other people please remember that you do not have to be committed to them that's come through really really clearly and um, you know and the fact that you won't commit to them can push a lot of them forward into wanting to commit to you so just make sure it's not on all on their terms it's on your terms too it's got to be that fine balance this yin and yang energy balance it out um 
from there, however, so these are kind of like where we are at the moment. You've got these fears and you've got these burdens and they're redrawing, retreating, trying to work out what they want. Um, then there is decision. It's time for a decision to be made. Um, they will make a choice on it. It's a longer term choice and it's a choice that's going to be best for everyone that is involved in the situation. That choice will then bring them towards movement movement towards you uh you've got the queen of swords and the empress they're going to start seeing you in two lights um again remember it's never just uh, gender orientated or no sexually orientated or gender specific i got that wrong now um you've got the queen of swords and the empress so this is kind of the way they're going to see you they'll make moves towards you when they see that there's a fine balance of you being independent strong in your power um you know you're not what i need in my life but you are going to contribute to my life rather than fix me need me i need you blah 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 once you step into that power and the other side of it is the more caring nurturing maternal remember not gender specific but that kind of nurturing energy is coming through so once they've kind of spent this time working it out with judgment they're going to shoot these arrows towards you once they see that there's these two sides of you and that you're feeling more balanced within yourself and that's what i'm saying with the texting and calling just be conscious of that they are fully aware of the situation they are fully aware of how you feel you do not need to tell them 30 times a day they do actually know and if they aren't responding to that don't push them to to get these answers you know you don't it might feel that you need reassurance from them at the moment but until they know what they actually want they can't even reassure you because they can't reassure themselves so just kind of be an allowance of it allowance of them their thought processes there is movement towards you it will be on their terms so which is why it's important that we make sure you balance this queen of swords and this empress energy you balance these two sides okay because if it's all on their terms it's going to be quite a complicated situation to so make sure you're standing your ground and from that you've got the sun and the six of wands for victory okay so really positive cards they know what they want uh, well they are about to know what they want and um, once they see that your kind of actions are not mirroring up no yeah your actions your words they're saying that you're strong you're they're saying that you're stable they're saying that um you know you're fully supportive of them but they're fully you're fully supportive of yourself you're independent once you kind of show them that how you are as a person rather than the needy clingy i love you be with me i need to text you how i feel all the time please reassure me once you kind of step out of that energy which a lot of you are doing don't get me wrong i'm not saying that that is what's going on but you need to make sure that they are aware that that is not the energy you're in that is when they will make moves towards you and you have your victory and the sun you can have a good go at it but at the moment they're just pan they're worrying that you want too much too soon and yada 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 because they, they struggle with it all they need to put their big girly pants on on and sort it out but it's just going to take them a little bit of time um because they want to make sure that it's right for them you know they, they don't want to rush anything um they've been hurt before a lot of them have been hurt before so their thought process is kind of going oh god what if it happens again where's it going to go what are we going to do oh my god ah panic 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 um so just be aware of that but you've got you've got a really happy outcome at the end of it but just stand in your ground, stand in your power, get into your bitch energy, get into your queen of swords power, manifest the outcomes you want, think about what you want, not what you don't want, and then let the universe bring it to you. Try not to hold on to the situation, because if you are thinking and holding on to it so, so tightly that it is this and there is nothing else and I won't accept any other possibilities or outcomes or anything like that, you're not even giving the universe a chance to bring you what you want. So try to do a bit of releasing work, releasing meditations, that guy meditations, that will then bring you the outcomes that you want because you will release the situation which then gives universe time to control it for you, get in there. Again, it's the universal law of space. If you're holding on and you're not creating space, the universe can't do anything. When space is created, the universe has to match it with something equal to or more than. So which is why it's important to let go. Letting go, moving on to completely separate things. Letting go just means releasing the outcome. Which I know a lot of you will be saying it's really, really hard. But the key to manifesting is releasing the outcome, releasing expectation and just going with it. And if you do that victories assured so it's worth it in the long run you know and you'll be happier because you won't feel so heavily burdened and worried about it all you know it won't be at the forefront of your mind go out with your friends distract yourself do stuff you enjoy have a bath listen to music scream sing dance hit your pillow take a dog for a walk anything like that but the, the both decks on that are actually really promising uh it's just that we've got to kind of get you from where you are now to to where they're going where you're going with them um and that, that is i'm afraid a time thing it's going to take a bit of time but you know there's no rush really 
Even if you are in your 30s like me and you're thinking, oh my God, what if I, or 40s and you're thinking, oh my God, what if I can't have kids and what if this, what if that, you know, try to release all these fears because if you're holding on to them, um, you're pressing pause on the situation. That was just an example anyway. There's there's multiple fears that everyone has. Oh, if I let go of the situation, what if I never hear from them again? But what, what good is let, holding on to it? You know, you're holding on to it. You're not even going to give the universe a chance to kind of bring it to you. So just be fully aware of your thoughts. I know it's hard. I mean, I'm very aware of that. Um, have a look at the Abraham Hicks 22 processes. That will help you as well. It'll help you realise what's kind of going on, where you're moving, yada, yada, yada. Google it before you ask me in the comments. Google it. All right. Lots of love to you all. Um, if you want to book a private reading, email mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. My turnaround is on 20 days. Yes, I know we have a big wait list. There is a lot of you waiting for private readings at the moment, but they're going out on time. Uh, I do 50 minutes, half an hour. I do single questions as well. Their turnaround is 24 hours to 48 hours. So if you want to just know single questions, um, they're $11.11 11 or £8.50. And that's it. Yeah, just drop me an email, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Find me on Instagram. That's just mysticlovetarot. I'll speak to you all next week. Be good. Be safe. And if you can't be safe, buy a pram. I always used to say that. <laughs> all right, guys. Lots of love. Bye.